Welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. I'm going to show you how to own a horse. So the first things first, you need to be able to unlock this. So you need 2000 technology in farming. So once you've got those points, you can unlock the stable right here. So that is the very first thing you need to do. There are uh, skill points you can get. So if we go over to the skill tab, there are like um, whistle for your mount so you can push like G and your amount will run to you that's this one right here that's wicked um, there are other other perks um, sorry for cutting half of this video out it was because um, I recorded in a different settings but it's only for this first bit so bear with it but there are different weight and stamina tech points you can use just have a look through them but they're very useful I found I've got unlimited stamina on and my horse that does not work for your horse so bear that in mind you will need stamina for your horse so the second thing you need to do is actually build a stable so ignore the horse for now ignore the pig farmer too he will get me demonetized <laughs> so um there's your stable you plonk it down pretty self-explanatory really just the same as building any other house Take out your hammer, their scissors, that's a spear. Uh, don't know what that is, that's a torch. But you get my point. Smack the walls, hit the ceiling. In the middle is where you put your animal feed. So make some of this or go buy it. And then you place that in the middle. Just hold the button and it appears in there. You don't need that. Um, you don't need to feed your animals. No animals at all need feeding unless you want to produce babies then you will need to feed them because the animal feed actually like produces the babies don't ask me the science behind that one uh this is actually the animal breeder so breeder so it might be different with horses but um i've employed him just to be safe i ain't actually bred a horse but i know my lambs didn't need an animal breeder or whatever <coughs> No one was employed there, they just had animal feed and the lamb came out of you know where. So um, the pig farmer is actually having a tiff with the pig now. Anyway, so if you go into your houses and animals then stable, you can see what animals you own or don't own. So you can own four at a time. You can see my animal breeder is there if you know if you want to know how to employ these it's easy you just click on them but if you don't know and you struggle with that because it can be complicated uh, i have a video check that out in the playlist it explains how you employ workers like to work on your fields and everything like in the barn and everything so check that out if you're stuck but i'll show you up next where we're going to be getting these horses and there is donkeys too but i'm focusing on horses for this video so remember, turkey is donkey and hornica is horse. Okay, so it's clues in the name. Turkey, donkey, hornica, horse. So that makes sense. We're going to go to hornica for the horse. So these may be a little bit more expensive because I've got the perks in like buying and selling. But they are quite expensive, but the horses are worth it. The horses are faster and the donkeys can carry more. But literally, I've got unlimited weight and this horse can carry everything for me. I've also got large saddlebags, so I'll show you those in a sec. But you literally just buy an adult horse and then you just slap a saddle on and you can ride it. So um, I'm not going to buy another one, but yeah, you just buy it and then put it in your stable from like this like management here so you can click on your horse and then plonk it in the stable it is nice and easy and in the daytime a man will be standing outside the stable but if it's night time he's having a beer over here or if it's really night time like night night <laughs> he's going to be asleep so you might have to wait till he wakes up but he sells horseshoes saddles saddlebags and animal feed so you can pick that all up from him you will need a saddle and equip that i'll show you how to do that in a second i recommend these large saddlebags 45 extra kilograms of weight the small one is 15 and the medium one is 30 kilograms 
So that's the saddlebags. The horseshoes reduce the stamina consumption. And the animal feed, like I say, is for all animals. If you want the manure, by the way, get a pig. They get a load of manure for fertilizing your fields. So um, that's day. that one wrapped up. So then you call your horse, mine's the G button, he comes over, you can tap, mine's F, yours might be E, and then you can literally drag and drop into your horse's inventory. So you want a saddle, saddlebags, and iron sh horseshoes, you don't need those, all you need is a saddle to begin with, so don't worry about the other two. Like I said, I put berries in there, he didn't eat nothing, so you don't need food, but they can store stuff can be a storage chest if you want to use it that way i won't judge you how you want to use your horse um if you go in your inventory by the way come down here mine's h you can click on it or just push the required button that will bring you into your horse inventory too and then it's the case of drag and dropping these three icons so drag your saddles here drag your horse shoes to the middle one and saddle the bags over to the right but that's pretty much summed up how to get a horse. I hope this has been helpful. And it, this stamina goes on for ages. I'll show you in a second. He does anger a uh, wolf. And you can outrun wolves easily. And any other animal. I've not tried a bear yet. So let me know in the comments if you can outrun bears. <laughs> um, I normally save if I see them and hope for the best. But I um, hope this has been helpful. Please help the channel out with dropping a like. Comment anything down below. And subscribe if you're new for more survival content. But thanks for watching. As always, stay safe, stay entertained, and we'll see you all on the next one.